Signalis is a survival horror game that probably encapsulates the essence of old school Resident Evil more than even modern games in the series do. The gameplay is almost right out of the PS1 era with semi-fixed camera perspectives, complicated floor layouts filled with puzzles, and a seemingly endless stockpile of respawning enemies. I won't get too deep into spoilers regarding the story in this video, but damn does Signalis deliver on almost all fronts a game can deliver on. And also, the game took me around 6-7 to seven hours to complete on a first playthrough, just throwing that in there. The general plot of the game is that you play as an android-esque character named Elster, whose ship has crash landed on a planet used as a mining facility slash quarters for androids and military cadets. The facility has been infected by an unknown disease that has ravaged the minds of the androids there, along with their bodies, effectively turning them into zombie robots. Elster has to sneak, fight, and puzzle her way through the facility, going ever deeper in search of her lost companion. The story is horrifying, cathartic, and beautiful. It's not the most complicated tale ever told, but the way Signalis tells its story is very good. Reading documents scattered throughout the game world which build up the universe as well as explain what's happening to the people, and you got plenty of environmental storytelling going on as well. And the cutscenes and walking segments slowly paint a picture of Elster's mental state and how she's processing everything around her. The narrative in Signalis is really strong and conveyed in a very engaging way, at least in my opinion. The gameplay is third person with a pulled back camera against almost stagnant backgrounds. In classic survival horror fashion, you can aim some weapons, your standard pistol, shotgun, revolver, SMG, at enemies and shoot them, or in equal survival horror fashion, you can just run past them. There are a ton of puzzles that require you to read through notes to solve or requiring you to fiddle with your radio. The puzzles are well done and the room navigation is also really good. The boss fights play a lot better than in some other survival horror games, playing with the environment and other game mechanics. Normally a boss in these types of games is just a big scary damage sponge, but in Signalis they're slightly more complex, which I appreciated. The level design is that of a semi-connected world. Each section of the game has its own connected layout full of rooms, hallways, hidden areas, and even multiple floors. The progression through each overarching area is pretty natural, each requiring the collecting of multiple keys and puzzles to finish. And the puzzles are so, so, so good. Okay, like, they're not that good, they're not the most complex brain inflators out there, but they're a lot better than the puzzles I'm used to in survival horror games. The sound design is worth mentioning because it's very well done. Something as simple as just your footsteps echoing when you run helps add to the suspense. I don't like throwing the word atmosphere around a lot, but Signalis has atmosphere, and a large part of that atmosphere is the sound design. The robotic, alien, militaristic environments clink, clank, and squish in all the right ways, giving this blocky, PS1-inspired art design a lot of texture. And the art direction looks like it's right out of a PS1 development cycle. It's great. I love games that use retro styles as influence because they can work on all the positives that that style has to offer while knowing how to mitigate all the negatives. Signalis is a dark game. Not tonally, okay, well, tonally, but visually. The lights are out, the edges are blurred and shadowed, and there's a lot of clutter on the screen that fills in the backgrounds, much like the pre-rendered backgrounds of Resident Evil games. It keeps the focus on the player character and the enemies, while having the rest of the world be constructed by the ideas of what lies in the background. Just compare the background of RE1 to Signalis. Look, I love RE1, but it's so bright you can see the clown house for what it is, especially looking at it today. Signalis isn't built that much different, but it is cloaked and disguised better. Okay, it's not all aces with Signalis. I think some of the puzzles can get a little esoteric, and the problem with that can be you can get stuck in the esotericness. The other negative thing I want to say about Signalis isn't exactly something I had a problem with, but my friends who also played the game weren't super big fans of, 
and that's the enemies respawning, especially how often they respawn. Essentially, under most circumstances, when you kill an enemy, it will eventually come back to life. Because they're like robot zombies or whatever. And the frequency at which they respawn isn't exactly clear and can become a bit of a nuisance if you intend on using your precious ammo to keep killing them. I personally like that aspect of the game because too many survival horror games give you a surplus of ammo. And I like that this game makes you decide whether to fight or flee from the zombies. But it does happen quite often and it might not be for everybody. So I think it's fair to warn y'all that ammo will get a little bit tight in Signalis. And to wrap up, I said it with sound and I think it applies well to the art as well. And that would be texture. Signalis has a lot of texture. It has great gameplay, a really engaging story, awesome puzzles, and better bosses than I was expecting. But what really stands out to me about this game is texture. All the little sounds that echo, static, and beep that add so much to this game. And the visual flares, tears, and smudges also do a lot in building the atmosphere of Signalis. And the atmosphere of this game is very good. I think this game works very well on a mechanical aspect. I think there's a lot of replayability in planning your routes and engaging with the level design and mid-maxing what items you're taking from safe rooms to safe rooms and getting your puzzles all oriented and the best ways to do that. All these things I love about classic Resident Evil, Signalis does great. Signalis also takes itself very seriously. It's not very campy. And the way that it's able to accomplish all of this, because in the end of the day, it's like zombie robots. It is kind of a silly, stupid concept. But the atmosphere really brings you into it. It really grounds this experience to being one that can get very tense and stressful and even scary at times, especially with how they utilize sound. I think this game rules, and if you like Resident Evil, fuck it. Even if you don't like Resident Evil, give this game a chance. It's on the Xbox Games Pass at the time of this video, so you can just give it a try without worrying about it. And I really hope you do. I can't recommend this game enough. It's very, very good.